159th year of celebration, thousands of Catholic devotees, not just from Cebu, but all over the country, feel the Basilica Minore del Santo Nino today for the first day of the Novena Masses for the Fiesta Senor. The event started with the dawn foot procession, or the penitential walk with Jesus, that marked the beginning of the Fiesta Senor. As early as 3 in the morning, people flocked towards Fuentes Mena Circle, the starting point of the procession. Cebu City Mayor Michael Rama described the influx of the faithful as a miracle, despite the limitations of the original route of the Fiesta Senor procession, which they chose to retain amidst the ongoing road construction for the BRT project. <laughs> Yellow caution lines were also placed along the areas where there are still visible hazards to avoid accidents. Police and security personnel were also scattered in almost every corner, ensuring the safety and security of every devotee. Led by the Augustinian friars, the image of Senor Santorino plays in a carriage adorned with a variety of flowers traveled almost three kilometers from the Fuente Rotonda down to Esmania Boulevard and finally to its home, the Basilica Minore del Santorino. The religious welcomed Santorino by singing the Batubalani song while raising their own images of the child Jesus. The message from the opening salvo tells us that every January, somehow the roads of the city lead its people to the Basilica, putting emphasis that this is because of the longing of the faithful to visit Santo Nino, just like how the three kings were to Jesus. Right after the Novena Mass, the Basilica installed this year's Hermano and Hermana Mayores, Valentino San Diego and his wife, Ophelia San Diego. Friends and SK officials from Barangay Pasil in Cebu City were among those who attended the first Novena Mass, bringing with them their prayers for the development of their barangay. Para namo no, attending the first Novena Mass, we really feel like among devotion, kani really kanang ma extreme jana mo, ma feel jana mo ang presence sa Senor Santo Nino. Especially karon nga we are attending as one group from Barangay Pasil, and ma feel jana mo nga kanang na feel na mo nga nagstart na jud ang spirit sa feasts sa atong Senor Santo Nino. Grabe. Meanwhile, this family didn't mind traveling all the way from Pinamungahan just to be able to continue their devotion to Senor Santo Nino. Okay, ever since nga naguyab mi hantod nag minyo niya nang na, nanganak, so what well, just me absent. So amo gining gi uh, devotion. Akong papa is na maday pa January 6 niya. Supposedly, koyuk siya namo permi. Oh, niya. Pero ni Ari lang yapon mi kay para dili siya maputol. So, amo lang siyang gidala in by heart. So, ana lang to keep the peace nga we have so far kay ever since the lockdown maka feel good ko nga through God naka na naka naka close good me nya na strong strengthen among bond Debbie another devotee of the holy child Jesus brought her son with her whom she dressed up as a little nino Siya man amo ang little nino sa amo ang family symbol na sa among family nga amo ay kan blessing blessing na mo din siya Authorities confirmed that the crowd estimate for devotees who joined the Walk with Jesus and the opening salvo reached at least 200,000, which exceeded the 5,000 capacity of the Basilica grounds, which is why others attended the Mass outside the gates of the church while tuning in in the LED screens mounted around the area. Novena Masses will continue every day up until the 21st of January 2024. This has been Queenie Holigon for MyTV Cebu. Viva Pit Senor!